You're so into modeling, but learning curve turns you down so much. What do you mean curve, man? Oh, the learning curve. I was like, what? Are you talking like a certain like smoothing thing? Uh, sorry, ignore me, man. I'm, it's it's fucking late, <laughs> and I've been up like I'm starting to get up really early. So at this point at night, I'm fucking losing it. Uh, the learning curve for modeling. Yeah, I mean it does take a long time, man. And, but you will get out of it the, whatever you put in. So if you dedicate yourself into it and concentrate and like model every single day, uh, you actually start you know that learning curve that starts flattening out faster and faster. You guys have an, an indie game and you guys would like a main character done. Uh, are you talking about for your Unreal game that you guys were working on? Uh, the, for the, your... Uh, what was it? Uh, the Throne Room? Or was that just a contest and you guys have like another, like a smaller indie game? Oh, the Desert Sniper? Yeah, what, what do we call it? The, the Desert Snake, I think? I, f I forget the names of our own sets, it's ridiculous. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, over here. Uh, we started, uh, this is the start of the textures, it's obviously not done yet. Uh, but yeah, kind of started placing uh, some colors, a little bit of detail, some uh, some gradients, uh, a lot of the lighting passes on there. But still have to go in there and actually do more of the painterly work, like you can see here a little bit I started on the face. Adding some nice reds, you know, by the other reds, the eyes, the new eyes that we added, this is the default model, this R model. Uh, so yeah, it's starting to, to show some promise, but... So let's let's do on the texture side of things, but we want to finish the seabrush stuff first. That's what we're over here. Oh, did I not turn my cogwheel back on? Oh, I didn't. There we go. There it goes. And back to seabrush. All right. Yes, sir. A smaller indie game, not the throne room. So, what kind of game is it, man? What kind of what kind of theme? What kind of poly count on the characters? Uh, did we have a mask on this? Did I did I lose the mask? Oh, the mask is there. Okay, I was like, I didn't mess that up, did I? Okay, so. Uh, what we want to do, let's sharpen this. Actually, let's not sharpen all the way yet. But let's let's see what kind of design we want on this. Oh, that's right, we're sketching it. Start with that line. Actually, I don't like that line. Okay. Raw radio, yeah, dude. The, the freaking those those raps took forever in ZBrush. We detail them a lot. It's an action adventure sci-fi, 45k for a character. 45k, holy. Sh okay, so yeah, you're going you're going full like Unreal here. Yeah, that sounds like a month-long project. I mean, if you want the texture and everything, uh, a character like that probably takes yeah, uh, four to five weeks. ZBrush probably doing about a week. The low poly and the UVs probably take another week. The texture would take another week. And materials and polish uh, would probably take the other week and a bit. And materials, yeah, we'll throw, throw materials into the into the texture side of things. So yeah, about uh, about five weeks for a polished character set. It's what I had my character team do. We uh, we pushed it. We it used to be in most studios it will will have you push three four weeks. Um, I actually had my team running on four, four to five weeks for our characters to make sure that they got, you know, the attention that they needed. Um, so yeah, that's... Did I customize that side of the mana? Well, that side of the mana is not really designed anywhere, so yeah, we, we, I just, I designed it myself. Uh, just the sculpt, you can do the low poly and materials and the textures, I guess, so you guys just want the, the C brush? 
Yeah, that's still like five five days of, of work. And uh, that's five days that uh, unfortunately I don't really have at the moment. Um, let, let me scare you a little bit. Uh, not with the price. I, I, I don't think I, I, I want to scare you with that. Let me scare you with our, our schedule. This schedule includes weekends. And it's running, uh, well, it's been running for a while. Oh, we've been a lot of stuff up there, but not even loading right now. Uh, you see, every this is every week, every day. Um, all the way to... Come on now, load in. All the way to April 2nd or so. And even here, we're still... We'll, we have a, a couple other sets on top of this that um, I have another artist working on. That I haven't added on here, so all these lists would actually be uh, longer than this each day. So we have like you know high poly UV spakes, you know all these things for our Legion Commander set, our Death Prophet set that we'll be doing, um, our couriers that we're going to be working on, special effects. It, you know it goes, it ranges everything through production for every single day. So we're we're slammed until April fifth, in which then uh, April sixteenth or so I take about. Uh, four or five days off and then we go back into a little bit of a crunch to uh, to do a, a push for TI5 sets that we're working on for teams and also a couple for ourselves um, so we're, we're freaking this ridiculously busy until uh, until what? until August Yeah, no worries, man. So yeah, until then, um, I mean, at that point, if you're, you're still needing something, then uh, just uh, poke me or send me a message or, you know, jump on here and, and we can talk about it. And we'll see. But yeah, sorry, man. We're just, we're, we're fucking crunching like crazy. But yeah, I mean, the sculpt wouldn't be a crazy am amount of work, especially the ZBrush stuff we can do fairly, or I can do really easy. Um, it's just that we're... Which just, everything is just packed so tight that I, I, it'd probably be pretty difficult to, to try and sneak, you know, a, a high quality model in there, even if it's just the ZBrush, until August, at the very least. I know, actually, Rob, what we need to do, we, I, need, I need a fucking clone, that's what I need. I don't like that last line. I, I I like this shape though. It's it's gonna softening all these hard edges everywhere. A little more classy. I'll get one of these. One one of these. Th will look good. Ooh, not bad. Terrible. What do we do here? Try and follow these lines a little bit better. I'll get these guys to dock a little bit into the curve itself. I was feeling like it's actually part of it, maybe. Or it looks kind of shitty. Maybe we can do something better. What the hell was that ZBrush? Break the hell out. Uh, maybe this guy should go all the way across? No, that's not gonna look good. Corner? No, I don't like that. And what I'm planning on, this is just a sketch right here, right? So what I'm planning on is actually making these a lot thicker and I have some space in between them. Perhaps. And pull it off. You get some nice lines here, some one of these brush strokes. Maybe I just end it at the bottom like this. Maybe these guys have a little maybe stems. More earthly perhaps. That work. Try things out. I 
don't know, it's getting too leafy. TI sets already? Oh yeah, we have we have our TI sets uh, designs already kind of uh, fleshed out. Well, one of them is already uh, modeled. I, I, I can't show any of that, unfortunately. But uh, the other ones that we'll be making, uh, we will be probably streaming. So yeah, but we already have those guys kind of uh, designed and uh, in my head, and uh, we'll be sculpting them out. What time is it in USA? Probably like one, uh, 12 30 now. Oh fuck, it's one in the morning right now. Time flies by when you're doing art. No doubt. <laughs> Can we make a set for Night Stalker? No, he's not released to the workshop, unfortunately. But we do want to make one. He's uh, he's on our list for something to make. When they're ready. Visage? Yeah, Visage will be fun to make too. 5 p.m. in the... F mm, Philippines? Viper? No, Viper needs a fucking remodel, man. Oh, you're... You're trolling me. You're trolling me. You know I don't like that hero. I think shorter little doodads work better. Roll with that. this freak what's this oh, hold on i'm gonna go back hold on why is that song even on my freaking playlist temptation two minutes of fucking wind are you serious okay Where is that song? Listen, he's find it. Cheat codes. Yeah. Full set for Nature's Prophet. Yeah, dude, we have a Nature's Prophet set in the works already. Uh, purple flame in her hand. Why purple flame, man? Pl explain yourself. Oh, this line's terrible. This out here either. What am I doing? Hey Ricky, Dr. Ricky. Oh, I thought, okay, yeah, no, I, Viper definitely needs a new model, right? Like, it's uh, probably one of the earliest models that Val made before they, you know, they learned how to make, like, amazing models uh, in the style of Dota, you know, and what it grew to be. So, yeah, I think uh, he's probably gonna get remade at some point. 
There's an effect in Dota 1 when she buys an, uh, when she buys Agashell and has a flame on her hand. It looks really cool. Oh, see, I didn't play Dota 1 all that much. I think I played it just a couple times, but I was too much into Frozen Throne to uh, to really play a lot of the mods. I remember playing Footman uh, a little bit more than I did Dota, but I always end up going back to, uh, to Frozen Throne and just playing that online. I was invested in it. I don't know about this thing, man. I don't know. I'm not sure about these. Alright, I might be onto something here. That was kind of cool. Oh my god, we're getting the fucking world time here on the chat. We got our uh, friends from Russia, Jody. Central Russia. Asian Russia. Gulag... Russian Gulag prison. Panama. Alright, alright. Uh, somebody's in a urinal. Uh, Kappa time. Dude, you guys are silly. Can we make a laundered set in Russian style with the hat? With, yeah, with Yushirka? Uh, dude, we made a laundered set and we're waiting for it to get in-game. Uh, I think it's uh, waiting for some tools to be developed by Valve so we can put that in. It's on hold at the moment. And that set was a fucking mountain of work. I don't think we'll be making a new laundered set for some time. Safe to say. Especially because all the crazy fur that we did for that set. So much work. Oh my god, I don't think about it. You can't make me! Sorry. Alright, alright. We're getting pretty delirious, if you guys can tell. We're sketching some plant shit on here. A little sketch, make sure and see how it reads from far away. It's not bad, it's not bad. I think we need more negative space here, so let's see. Needs to be thinner. How resource B, what's up? 5825 in Russia, Russia. Is that even a time? That's not even a time. You guys are just like making up times and besides the places now. The days 
How long did it take me to learn all this? And in ZBrush? Uh, well, in ZBrush, I started using in 2000 and... Uh... Oh, well, God, what was it? 2005? Uh, I was using Modbox before that, and then I, tr I switched over to, uh, to ZBrush. At that point in time. And to learn my the whole thing, well, I've, I've been doing this professionally for... <coughs> Excuse me. <laughs> I need a drink. I need some beer. Uh, for about 16 years now. Before that, I was working uh, outside of a studio uh, for probably another year and a half. And 14 in Germany. Oh, all right, all right. Vodka. I got some beer going over here, man. Oh, this song's amazing. Tired. Getting tired. Whoops. What the? No. All right. Now, what did I, I wanted to do? Something special with this thing here. What was it? One of these sites I wanted to have go a little bit in farther in. So I think it was this side. Oh god. What the freak? Oh, that's because I'm still in that brush stroke. Okay. Um, Take that off for now. Go with freehand. And we'll lower this to about I should have masked this, but I don't want to lose the other mask. I shouldn't be working on this part, but I was like, hey, this looks like fun. Uh, okay, I'll fix, we'll fix it. Something cool here. Oh my god, why, why, why did it draw? I don't even know that shortcut, it just happened sometimes. Not bad. Who was that? Rose XX, welcome. Drink vodka, play dotka. Not a bad model. How long is this song? It's too short. 
What do I think about Terrorblade? Do I make a set for him? Yes, actually. He's a really cool hero. Love to make a set for him. Don't have any ideas for one yet, though. Thunder, welcome to the stream. Late night live workshop. Woo! Damn, we're getting tired. Alright, now uh, we obviously need something cool in the middle here. And not a gem or anything silly like that, but uh, maybe like a. I don't know. I really don't know yet. I don't know, I don't know. Just spitballing here with my brush. Sign in as we go here for this section. Sure. Pony plays Dota. The lovely dog, sir. Welcome. What are the characters to get Warhammer 40k inspired cosmetic? Uh, Omni Knight? Did I pass your test? No idea what I'm doing right now. Testing stuff out. Maybe more of a, maybe like a little bit of like maybe a key, a keyhole or something on top. That's what this is starting to look like. I kind of like, I kind of dig that. We'll go with that. Fucking draw thing. All right. Well, that was a fun little detail thing. Let's let's go back to this stuff. Uh, all right. Well, that, that looks kind of decent. Let's uh, actually uh, make uh, some of these sections deeper. Not sure why I sculpted that. That should have been masked. But we weren't sure we were gonna do that. Alright, whatever. We'll just do it by hand. Sorry. Right. Oh my god, we lost our sensitivity. So this is a bug with ZBrush sometimes. Uh, the, on the, when you save a file, uh, it, it breaks your sensitivity. Sometimes uh, resaving your files uh, fixes it. Hope this fixes it. Yeah, we save it as a different file. That's gonna fix it. Good. This set is awesome, but you think it's better if you make it for Halloween? Uh, well, we have that and we have the Headless Horseman. And yes, they would fit better for Halloween, but you know, I don't think we want to wait that long uh, to put our sets. God damn it! Come on, man! Come on! Sometimes reloading the file helps. Probably not gonna help. Where's our Midas? Where's our Midas at? Okay. You win this round, Seabrush. 
Actually, we should be taking a break. We we missed our break at half an hour ago. God damn it. We lunched at Seabrush. Hmm. Yeah. We'll reload our file first. back. Our sensitivity should be fixed. Beautiful. Uh, we're gonna reload our undos. Just because I know those uh, tend to break on our machine for some reason. And okay, we're back to business here. Alright, let's uh, carve these guys in. And I think I'm gonna carve some of them deeper. Just to change it up. Here and there. I think it will look better. We're gonna flatten out quite a bit anyways, but... Uh, for the sake of a little extra detail as we bake it. that up that's all right we fixed it in two seconds flat okay all right and then this guy over here what do we do here what do we do what do we do Pushing it actually. Oh. It's all right. How many bandanas do I have? Uh. I can see three from my seat right now. I probably have a couple more in my drawer. What is the program? Right there, man. Uh, we're gonna finish this set next week. And we've been working on other sets at the same time. 
We have like, I think, four or five sets going at once. Name of the song, please! <laughs> Alright, uh, this song is called Top of the World 2 by Stephen Walken. Be able to find that fairly easy with that. Put a golden face on it? <laughs> uh, no, we're not gonna do that. Live workshop, thank you for your jump. You're really awesome. I think you'll be a millionaire. <laughs> Thanks, man. Let's hope so. Let's hope so one day. <laughs> Guys are set. Let's go in here and clean up a little bit. Clean up job. Whoops. I bet you at first you guys like, man, what the fuck is Sith doing? All those scratches look like shite. Don't worry, man. There's a plan here. Always a plan. Most of the time there's a plan. But for that to work, I need that guy's leg. It's impossible? No, uh, the, the hand itself is actually gonna uh, fall under the death animation. So, and it's gonna land right on a life stealer and turn him into gold. So you will be able to see the top side of it. And we'll also be able to use it maybe uh, for renders or put it in the corner or something, or I don't know. Maybe we have other plans for it past this. Besides being an item on his back.
on your association for the amount of levels I'm trying to sculpt into that piece right there. Probably don't need to go that far. Probably do fine. Yeah, that looks pretty alright. Alan Matty? No, Alan Matt, 11 seconds left. Yes, we're gonna make custom ability icons for this and for our headless horseman as well. All the people are wondering what the headless horse our headless horseman set is. Uh, we're not really showing it all that much yet, but check this out. What the f freaking hell? I lost my brush. Yeah, to me. Thanks, man. Were you here earlier? <laughs> Do I use custom brushes often? Yes, um, I actually created some custom brushes. We're working on the 
uh, the urn for the life sealer. And tonight, uh, we're gonna get into that pretty soon actually. Uh, I'm gonna show you guys this uh, stencil uh, right here that I created earlier uh, to do a little bit of the chainmail. Uh, nothing too fancy, but uh, it should work out pretty good. At least to do the first pass. Off the chain. Oh, come on, Seabrush. Open up, man. And uh, I usually create my own uh, sip brushes for uh, for sippers and uh, for seam lines as well. I keep those really unique. Uh, a lot of people use the the cost the the default. You know those those really cool tea brush or uh, yeah like sipper brushes and uh, and seam brushes. Uh, but uh, you can kind of spot them out. You know when you see them. So I, I like to make my own for those. Do I post them anywhere for download? Uh, no, I haven't yet, but I, uh, we, I do plan on having a download section on, uh, on the website so that people can grab uh, all uh, my custom brushes and uh, anybody else from the team's custom brushes. Uh, and same for Photoshop, all, all those things. And my key bindings for Soft Image, people are interested in that stuff. Yeah, we'll post them all on there. We just have to, we have to get to it. <laughs> Create that download page. Take some time. Need more polygons. Get that part. Right. I don't know, that's kind of okay. Alright, let's see if this works. into his four, man.
Why would you save while I'm using a brush stroke? Come on. That inflate actually mess around a little bit with our edges here, but that's okay. Fix that real quick. What's up guys? Welcome. Atom bomb. Did I get that run? Did I, did I miss? Did I almost got that one. Sky killers. Oh shit! We got. Then goes Ben. Yeah, nailed it. Oh my god. That's Thrall. Thrall. Thrall, Thrall, Thrall. Is that from Galaxies? Say hello to all these guys that are following. Very kind of you guys. Edward Marika, Hoverborn, Lucaril Leave, Alan Maddie, say hello to you, hater. Crash Bandicoot, Old Man, MMKA, Amber, Adizio, EK Stas, 07, 007, excuse me. Uh, Q, Cucunder, 
I think. <laughs> I don't know. Welcome, you guys. Thank you for the follows. Appreciate it. Max, welcome, dude. Oh, that works out much slower. Would you say you are working while you're on stream? 50% or more or less? <laughs> uh, yeah, way slower. Way slower. But that's okay, man. It really does slow me down, but I mean, if I really need to focus on something, I just put my head down and go at it. Or I just don't stream that day and I focus on what needs to get done. Um, but yeah, I mean, we're in the middle of a, a little bit of a crunch right now, so that's why the streams have been a little bit uh, lacking. But uh, we, we definitely want to be streaming more. Once things come down, we'll, 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 we'll do like f maybe four, five a week. Right now, we're, we're averaging, we're looking at three a week. What the? Hey man, I like your work. Oh, thank you, uh, Mr. Liz, Mr. Liz Sick. Damn it, can't say your name. What music is it, Ronald Drake? Yeah, Ronald Drake is awesome, dude. Is Seabrush, Seabrush free also? No, it is not. Though it's cheaper if you're a student. They knock off like a, hun a couple hundred bucks. Down from, I think, 700 or so. So, yeah. But I mean, it's worth it, man. Check it out. What is my take, my take on Seabrush versus Mudbox? You do your sculpting in Mudbox, and you see more people using ZBrush. Wonder if I should change your ZBrush or not. Um, I actually started myself on Mudbox, and then because uh, the interface was so much more uh, user friendly when you're getting started, you know, and it's very. I, I, I was already already new Photoshop, and the interface is really similar to Photoshop as well. So uh, it was a, an easy um, access for me to 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 learn that program. Uh, however, I did a, a find ZBrush to be far more advanced and. Uh, be able to create a lot more uh, detailed things and it has a lot more options uh, with, with their brushes and everything so I ended up transferring over to ZBrush and um, I haven't really looked back. Uh, really 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 nice program. Even if it m messes up with my my Z settings every now and then when it saves. Reload it and it's good to go. Hmm. Crazy about this part here. Not sure what to do with it. Gonna leave it for now. And uh, let's move on to that that stuff I was talking to you guys about. We're gonna have to mask it, so let's mask.
love this mask. So we can uh, show you guys how to uh, how to use the stencils. Oops. Shit, did I blur that? No. Does I blur by mistake the the mask? You can blur masks or sharpen them and all this cool stuff. Okay. You want to sharpen, you hold Alt, Control, and you click inside of the mask, and it'll sharpen it. If you want to uh, blur the mask, you just hold Control and you click. Then you get a little bit of a gradient going on there. It's actually not a bad idea. Hmm. All right. Uh, uh, let's uh, let's take a short break right now. We'll take a bio break, uh, I'm gonna get a different kind of drink, and uh, stretch our legs. Uh, we'll be right back guys, don't go away. We'll continue and we'll finish this damn Midas before we pass out tonight. Alright, be right back. All right, welcome back, guys. That was a shorter break than expected. Uh, I'm just gonna drink mead. Fuck it. Hmm. 
okay. Let's, uh, let's get back to our Midas and uh, finish it up. Uh, so, uh, for the new people in the stream, this is, we're working on a mummy version for our, or like our mummy set for uh, Life Stealer. These are our textures that we got working on so far. We'll have about another week to go to finish the set. And right now we're working on a, a different uh, style for the back. It is uh, the Midas instead of uh, the Heart of Tarrasque. It's a little frogger. Um, so yeah, that's that's what's going down. Just tuned in. We're gonna add a little bit of a uh, little chainmail thing that you can see here near the bottom. I mean, it's super tiny, so we're, just, we're gonna make ours a lot larger. Otherwise, you won't be able to see it at all. So, let's see here. We can uh, let's move this out of the way for a second. I'm gonna go ahead and import our stencil, which we worked on earlier. Oh, gee. In here somewhere? Pencil will change. Oh, wait, is that it? I did two different versions. One of them wasn't working, so yeah, that's the. Okay, we're good. We're good. So this is what it looks like. Stencil. Uh, it's kind of uh, like a height map for your brush. So anything white is actually going to be extruded outwards. Anything black or be below 50% gray is going to get pushed inwards with your stencils. Um, so uh, you guys can see here I have no no and nothing underneath 50% uh, gray. So uh, anything on here is actually just going to be extruded upwards. Anything of these these whites, anything brighter than 50% gray. Um, so what I did is I made a sharp section here, so it looks like it's a little bit of a fin of the chainmail, and then it goes uh, into a, a darker section here at the bottom. So. Um, I think it'll work out okay. Let's uh, try it out. So we are gonna use our drag select tool And we'll start throwing some on here And we probably want to work from the bottom towards the top for these guys And oh, yeah one thing to keep in mind when you're making your stencils here. I'll show you See you can barely see it first of all. So we actually need to punch up the clay intensity Probably up to about a, oh geez We might need a different brush here Maybe an, uh, maybe even an inflate. I don't know. Actually, I haven't tried an inflate tool for this. Let's put the alpha back on. Same. All right. Whatever. Okay, that kind of works. Uh, I have to push the shift a little bit more. And the intensity will go a little bit crazier. Woo! Go crazy. All right, that's that's better. It's kind of what I expected. So once we have the set, all right. So let me explain this a little bit. Uh, the focal shift, which is the inside, uh, you know, not your your draw size. Uh, the focal shift, the inside part. You actually want to turn that rather high. So in create making this little circle in, in the inside of your big circle uh, smaller, and that is actually going to make the um, it's going to start eating away at the texture from the outside when you're using stencils. See, so we keep this like uh, all the way, like almost as big. You're gonna start seeing. Well, actually, this works actually really well with Inflate. Uh, but if it was any other tool, like Clay Build Up, you would see the square on the outside. So uh, I guess Inflate works really nice with it. But you also want to keep the focal shift a little bit, you know, sm well, quite a bit smaller, so that you get absolutely no edges on the outside. So a little crazier here. Yeah, something like this. So uh, it's a little bit of trial and error, you know, sometimes, but in the end, it, it'll work out. And how far do we want to go in here? Make sure that when we're doing this stuff that we get the right sizing. Might be too big, but it's going to be really small on screen, so sometimes you have to exaggerate these guys. Probably want them maybe touching each other, overlapping each other more than I'm doing it right now. And don't worry about the overlap, we can clean that up afterwards. Once you do a few of these, you, you kind of get the, the hang of how far each one needs to be.
Oh, that smooth is way too strong. Okay. Do a new one on top of these guys. I've really done chainmail before, but this seems to be working. a little too big. That works. That works. Don't worry about those overlaps, we'll fix them. Thanks, Navigator. Welcome in, dude. How you doing? Good night. Good morning. How are you in the world? Hey, got to Cami. See you later, man. Have a good night or evening. I don't know where you guys are in the world. It's all over the place at this point. Bloodline Studio. Nice start. Yeah, man. It's a, it's a time saver for sure. Then we can go in there and actually, you know, fix it up by hand. But this is just, you know, the dimension side just saves a, a lot of time. It does. And it's really easy. I mean, you guys saw the stencil, you know, once you get that down in Photoshop, how to do those things. You just make stencils and really speed up your workflow. Really nice on ZBrush. And I think what do we want to do here? I'm going to start turning this, actually, towards the right so it looks a little bit more uh, organic. Like something's actually pushing it in that direction, maybe they are, maybe it's twisted a little bit. Instead of just going straight up, I mean, if it was straight up, I might have just done a texture myself, you know. Uh, so yeah, let's let's make it organic. Maybe offset these guys a little bit, maybe making them a little bit larger than the other guys. Going higher onto the glove, maybe the, the chain mills got built a little bit larger up here. You know, think about all these little things while I'm sculpting stuff. Get rid of those corners. Okay. Larger ones here. Offset them a little bit, you know, they weren't they're not perfect. Okay. That's a good one. That's a keeper. That's a keeper. Okay, so see if I zoom out, it looks fucking perfect, right? This is probably what's gonna bake out to, but we're still gonna go in there and we're gonna actually uh, finesse it and make it a lot prettier. What the freaking hell? Where are we? Uh, in case you guys are doing this for some like somebody who's, that's watching this now or watching this later on our broadcast archive uh, They they know how to fix this if they're making more of a cinematic character for a higher fidelity game or cinematic or beta render or whatever they're doing hmm. I think I want more mead Okay 
pressure of the living tomb, when's it gonna get added? Uh, we are working on that at this moment. Um, I think if we want all those crazy effects, um, you know, Valve posted on their blog that um, a lot of effects, a lot of uh, really advanced effects, might not be able to go in until Source 2 drops. So we might have to wait for Source 2 for uh, for the hero bundles for Star Ladder. But we are we are, we do have a contention plan for something uh, to slide in in front of that in case we we have to wait. So. Uh, don't worry, we, we got other stuff coming. Rum? Uh, no, this this is mead. Uh, this is honey wine and uh, raspberries. It's amazing. Alright, so let's go in here. I mean, ideally you would want to make another subdivision and really clean this stuff up. But I'm just going to go in here by hand and uh, like kind of build, build some of these guys back up. Oh my god, that's way too large. And I need to take off the alpha. And we need to go freehand. Okay. Now we're good. Now we can start building up these guys. One here. Oh, we lost that alpha. The default alpha that it used. Okay. I wish it would put it in this in here somewhere. Oh god, I have no idea. Ah, oh, this is the wrong place. Alright, we'll just use this one. It's great. It's just a build to build up anyways. It doesn't have to be that precise. I have to add a little bit of clay here in some sections. And I'm actually going to give him a little bit of volume on top of that as well. Uh, because they are laying on top of each other, you know, so they would actually lift up uh, at the top. Uh, you can do that. If I had spent more time on my stencil, I could have probably done uh, a little better job on the stencil, but it's not a big deal, you know. Um, adding this uh, afterwards manually actually makes uh, your 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 mesh feel more organic and less like a like you used the tool to do it, you know. That's why I like the the clay build up tool so much. It's it's very very organic. Force fed? What, what's force fed, uh, Karazi? Navigator, where did I learn to do that? Uh, I was self taught, man. And, uh, uh, but I mean, that, I didn't learn everything by myself, that's impossible. I mean, I, I, I studied, you know, uh, perfect, like, top, top, you know, artists that I saw in different forums across the net, you know, the, before I got, uh, decent, you know, doing stuff myself. But yeah, I mean, it's uh, watching and learning and trying and copying and then uh, developing your own style after that. That's, that's the, the best way to go about, uh, you know, getting really good at something. Study something that is really, really good and amazing until it's not greater for you any longer. And uh, you can do it, man. Everybody can do it. We could do another two, three subdivisions, whatever. But you know, at this point, it's um, this is going to be more than enough for both our renders, our beta renders, our posters, and for our uh, loading screen beta illustration and for in-game. So normally you would want to go higher than this resolution, but this will be fine. We can work with this for our textures. A little bit of touch-ups here, nothing crazy. Build up this overlaps that got messed up with the stencil, but it's okay. We expected it. A combination of uh, smoothing, shift click, and uh, a little bit of clay build up uh, near the edges or at the bottom by the fins. 
Nice little effect. Overlaying on top of each other, lifting up a little bit where they're sitting on top of each other. That's all it is. That's all it is. Right? So if you're looking to make like some of this like scales for if you're making something for Slark or um, Dragon Knight or anything like that, now you guys have a really good head start on how to do it. Oh, I keep reaching for the beer. I, sh I don't want the beer. I want the mead. Hey, what's up, Mr. Forgetful? Hey, man, I said that we'll try to finish this, and we're, we're getting there, man. We just have, I guess, the fingers to go, and then uh, we'll do the detailed pass maybe tomorrow or the or the day after or something, I don't know. I'm, I want to damage it a little bit so it's got scuff marks and, you know, there's more. It's aged a little bit, perhaps. We'll save a version without that in case we need it, but yeah, we'll definitely want to age it. messed up this one over here but that's okay maybe they got pushed together i don't know sometimes mistakes don't look like mistakes can't work with them that looks pretty all right Gonna look more like scale mail than chain mail. Oh yeah, sorry. I mean, I've been calling it chain mail just because you know whatever. But it is it is scale mail here. Check this out. Whoop, whoop, whoop. See those little guys in there? I guess it is uh, scale mail. I just call anything like that. I always call it chain mail. But yeah, you're, you're right. You're right. Uh, where do I work? Uh, I used I, I worked at different studios uh, throughout my career, and right now I am work, I'm running the live workshop and I'm making um, sets with uh, our live workshop team uh, for Dota 2 at the moment. Have I ever met a whole hero? Yes. Oh, you mean for Dota, like a whole whole hero? Um, I'm working on something I can't uh, show unfortunately, but yeah, that's how it's uh, something really cool. Uh, besides that, I mean, you can see the, the right side there. Every now and then, you'll see some of my other work that is full characters, cinematic heroes, and higher fidelity things, and then some sm some stuff that is more cartoony. This the Dota stuff that's somewhere in the middle, and uh, yeah, I've, I've done a little bit of everything. Do I have a team of people that comes comes up with the concepts? Or do I do everything myself? No, we have a team. Uh, the designs and the concepts uh, I come up with, and I run the art direction, and I, I also jump in and do the C brush, the low poly, the UVs, textures, things like that. And the, the team also does uh, some C brushing. They do the special effects, the rigging, the animations, the baking, uh, things like that. Dota Canada Cup. Hey man, what's up? How you doing? Uh, I'm part Canadian, dude. Well, I have Canadian citizenship. I wasn't born in Canada. I was born in Mexico, but hey, I got Canadian Mexican dude citizenship. I lived there for 15 years. Represent. Show the full set, please. Sorry if I missed a bunch. I know the chat has been going for a while, and I was kind of concentrating on explaining uh, the, the 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 scale mail there. <laughs> Let me scroll up a little bit, see if I missed a whole... Oh, I missed a bunch. Show the full set, I'll show the full set. Wait, give me a second. Am I good at painting? Is it really important to create these things? Uh, you, Eugenie. Yes, it's actually really important to create these kind of things. So this is actually uh, almost like... I'm, actu I'm actually kind of painting right now. Because this is going to get turned into a texture that will create a normal map. And it's also going to create an ambient occlusion map to create all the little self-shadowing things that you see here. All these darks will actually get baked out and I'll be able to uh, project those onto the in-game version of the model and then paint the texture on top of that for the colors and all that stuff. So uh, right now, even though we're sculpting, we're, we're list like in, 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 in another way uh, to look at it is we're actually 
we're actually painting the texture right now or the details of the texture that you'll see via normal map and a mid occlusion and then we do colors on top of that and highlights and little details and all that other stuff afterwards in photoshop uh but yeah this is this is absolutely super important all this stuff will come out really really nice uh oh fuck okay so see this this right here uh this is what happens when you turn on your uh auto masking back face mask um on the inside there but that's a fine we, we can clean this stuff no worries we had the mask so nothing else got really messed up here we'll just flatten it out no biggie Now this is gonna be dark anyway, so we just, I just really want to clean it. Cause I don't like looking at that error. These guys seem like they're actually sitting on top there. Just had a little bit of a cut. Good to go. Do I play Dota or do you just do the sets? Uh, yeah, absolutely. I play a lot of Dota. Oh, show the set. Oh, so, sorry, I forgot. <laughs> uh, let me show you guys the... This is the C-Brush uh, part of the set. You can see the wraps that we're making for our Lifestealer here. We did the wraps for the arms. Uh, in here you can't see the... We actually, for the right side, we did our armlet as well. You can see the, the head wraps as well for the face. The new eyes that we created for him. And we also did a, a second style for the back, for the new people on the stream. We did, oh my god, that's a book and a half, dude, I do not speak Russian, please translate to English. Uh, I have no idea what that says, guys, please translate. <clears throat> Before posting it, uh, let's see. And here's the in-game, uh, low poly with the texture, or with the, those ambient occlusion maps, and light maps, and normal maps. Well, the normal maps are not baked on here. The normal maps will come into effect when you see it inside of the game. Uh, that is a huge Russian wall of text, it is, I know. Uh, but here you can see the start of our textures. We're starting to detail a little bit of it. We still need to paint a whole bunch of stuff on it. Uh, highlights, uh, kind of flatten some areas out. You guys can see some of the nice uh, alphas that we created. You can see the model underneath. Here you can see the second style I was talking about, the Heart of Trask, inside of a broken urn with a little ice frog on there, little shoutouts. And then, yeah, yeah we're going to have the Hand of Midas, you can see here really quickly. It's our... Uh, or low poly, we haven't really baked anything into it because you guys saw we're still working on the sea brush part of it. Uh, so yeah, that's our, our in-game. Uh, just colors, uh, early colors on it, we still have to work on them quite a bit. Uh, but yeah, it's coming out really, really unique, really happy with it. Uh, it's not Russian, it's uh, Ukraine. Oh, alright, cool. Well, uh, I'm not sure what you said, man. Can you get this for free? Uh, maybe. We'll have giveaways if we get into the game later on. Thanks, uh, Xenoblood. Good to have you here too, man. <laughs> Google it. Actually, if you uh, well, no, you guys, you guys can translate that before posting it, right? I think you can right-click it and translate it before you post it. And if not, then yeah, please just translate it so I can answer your questions. Otherwise, no idea what you said. You guys have really interesting fonts, by the way. You Ukrainian and uh, you Russian fellas. Very, very interesting. Thank you for writing in English, man. Appreciate it. Uh, close to the original version? Are you kidding, dude? 
Let me show you, man. Let me just select all these things that we've been working on. And we'll uh, move them out of the way. Whoop. And let me throw in there the default stuff. Uh, where's the default stuff? There we go. So there's the default. Uh, the default stuff for uh, an X. Uh, hold on. I forgot to move one of the legs. <clears throat> it's just this little cloth on the back and the chains on the arms. That's it. That's all. That's the default stuff for, for uh, Lifestealer. Uh, hours. Turns him into a freaking mummy, dude. Come on now. Come on now. Nice Templar set, bro. Ah, thanks, dude. Thank you, Ken of the Cup. Appreciate the nice, nice words. You think that he'd be wearing the Midas on his hand? Dude, I tried that. I tried actually to sculpt it on his hand, but his hand is so disformed and so large. I had to cut off like the tips and have like, like they ripped off maybe and he's wearing the rest of the glove, but it just ended up looking stupid at that point. So we uh, actually, we, I took it off of the air and threw it on his back. And it's gonna work in the back even better because uh, it's gonna be animated. It's gonna be it, it actually we have it working in game. It's dropping coins as he's walking around. The coins bounce on the ground. It, it looks it looks amazing. And then as the second style, we have the the heart of Trask, which is gonna be animated and beating and uh, you know squirting blood. And when he dies, the, the you know the, the whole uh, urn falls apart and the heart falls and rolls off and leaves a streak of blood and then explodes into pieces. And we have a bunch of shit really really cool shit planned out for it. The Grubber, off to jogging. Hope the ship will be on soon. All right, man. Have a nice run. Nice and healthy. Thank you, Sky Killers. Appreciate it, man. Nice juggernaut set in the Steam Workshop. Thank you. We are uh, actually pushing that fairly soon into something. Very, very soon. Source viewer? No, man. This is this is uh, soft image. You can see it right here. Uh, it's like Maya or 3D Max. You know those kind of programs, but better. The Drini Double D. Welcome to the live workshop, man. Tried to make some whiz his foot. Uh, I'm sorry, I don't understand your, your your comment. The Ogre Magi set. Yeah, that Ogre Magi set. Oh, you mean the, the one right there in the corner? That's uh, that's a hero bundle. So that's, uh, we did some ability effects, some uh, ambient effects, and we did the axe for Ogre Magi. It's not a full set, it's a hero bundle, but has new ability effects and ambient effects on top of uh, having a cool item. So we did those for uh, for Star Ladder. We have, I think, six of them, including a full set for... Uh, or a uh, sniper and then the other hero bundles have either two three or uh two yeah two or three items and then those items themselves have ambient effects and new ability effects just like the immortals did for ti4 except we added another item and uh, more effects to our stuff as well so we went we went over we we, we had to push the bar a little bit hopefully uh, you guys like it When will they add it to the workshop? Well, we need to submit it first, and we're gonna we're, we're actually finishing a whole live workshop chest with five items and a courier, and we're finishing that around the April. So then we'll submit it, and then we'll go through the process of uh, getting it approved. Oh, thanks, man. Yeah, I uh, kind of redesigned the armor a little bit, like at least the the signs of the shapes, and aged it so that it made sense that it was with uh, Nakes while he was in uh, in his tomb for many many days or, or years, decades. Centuries, who knows? And then we kind of like wrapped this, the other wrappings across the top, and uh, kind of blended in the, the a nice, a very nice gradient of red going towards the bottom, so it kind of infuses with uh, with the model. Uh, this bottom part I still need to fix up, it looks like, but for the rest of it, it's pretty good, working pretty well. We still have to do highlights and all that stuff, you know, really polish it up, but it's getting there, it's getting there. Plans of making some for something for Jakiro. Jakiro is not available for the workshop, so no plans yet, man.
You haven't played Dota 2 since five, five patches ago? Damn, yeah, man. We can't do Zeus either yet. No, he's not in the workshop. He's not available. And I think I have a suspicion that he's gonna get remodeled. Since he used to be in the workshop and then they took him out of it. So I think he's gonna get a remodel. And then we'll make a set for Zeus. Absolutely. Alright, let's hide everything else and let's finish off this freaking Midas. Alright, top's looking alright, alright. The detail on the hand looks okay. Um, looks okay. We just finished our little scaling thing here. Uh, what else? What else? What else? I actually kind of like this little line. It looks like a almost like a wrinkle, but we're just gonna make it. Uh, oh my god, that's a little, it's a little harsh. We just make it a little bit of a a bend on on the metal. Push it upwards a little bit. Have it fade out over here. Yeah, that works. Hey, uh, Meritrain050, new to the stream. Is there a place where you can find more of my work? This looks really promising. Yes, dude. Uh, if you go to liveworkshop.com, you go to the very top, there's a little button with the Steam icon on it. If you click that, you can see all the stuff that we've submitted so far to the workshop. If you look through our past broadcast archives over at liveworkshop.com, you can see the other stuff that we worked on. And we still we have like, a, I think, close to 100 videos that we still need to upload of sets, you know, including uh, our Headless Horseman, which we've been showing a little bit today here and there. Uh, it looks a little bit something like this. And we, we streamed actually a lot of the creation for this, this uh, uh, probably one of our best sets yet. Uh, we did the ZBrush, a whole bunch of the textures, the low poly, the UVs on stream. Uh, so yeah, we, we need to upload a lot of those uh, videos still. But yeah, this is this is one of the sets that we worked on. And uh, the Lanaya set that just came out, uh, we, we streamed quite a bit of that as well. The Storm Spirit set that we finished, we haven't submitted it yet because we're going to be part of a chest, like I was saying earlier, but... Uh, yeah, you can see a lot of, uh, of uh, our work there for Live Workshop. If you want to see more of my personal work, like the Boba Fett over there, you can go to artbymanny.com. That's also in the FAQ below, along with a whole bunch of other information you might have questions to. Headless Horseman for the Chaos Knight. Yeah, man. Crazy amount of work for that. Here, let me show you guys a quick little something something. That's uh, his death animation. So if you guys look closely, I'm not going to run it too many times here, but he, he falls into lava, dips in, he's starting to reach out, comes back out and that goes back in. And then another thing, check out that the pumpkin kind of like flies up in the air and falls and smashes into pieces. And that's just his death animation. We did spawn animations, we did teleport animations, new idle animations, rare idle animations, new run animation, uh, new stun effects, new stun animation. It's The set is incredible. We did a crazy amount of work for it. We are beyond ecstatic to release that to you guys. But it's going to be a little bit of time because it's going to be part of that chest that I was just talking about. Yep, yep. This life stealer is gonna be in that chest as well, actually. And thank you for the follows, guys. I know uh, I'm missing a few of them, but uh, we really need to finish this tonight before I, I pass out. And uh, we have to do the fingers as well, which are, they're not gonna be that too much work, but we uh, we should get a move on. So let's do it. What subdivision are we on? Okay, we're good. Just uh, make these guys a little bit nicer. Probably be a little bit higher. Oh, not that big. And uh, let's let's hide all the other guys. Whoops. Oh wait, is in the way. Okay. There we go. I want it. We're gonna need a bigger boat. Plop, 
All right, now there's something I actually want to do to the top here too. Uh, I'm thinking about actually adding uh, this across to the top as well. I need to see the whole thing though, otherwise I'll mess it up. And actually, right, this one's a little bit off already, so I want to clean it up. So it lost a little bit of its roundness that we're pushing across these other guys. That's a lot better. Okay. But yeah, these, these cut lines, I actually, I think I want to push them across uh, each joint. Um, let me save our work first, I don't want to lose any of this work. Am I drinking beer? No, uh, this is a uh, mead, uh, honey, do, uh, honey wine and uh, um, and uh, raspberries. Maybe a dragon age on the dragonite. What? what are you guys talking about? Release the chaos knight, all right? <laughs> yeah. Paltropus. What did Paltropus say, man? Let me scroll up. Uh, how many... Uh, oh, sorry, okay, let's see. Uh, I missed a whole bunch of shit on the chat, sorry guys. Um, oh, you guys are... What the hell's going on? Narco? What was Narco saying? I, I didn't see anything wrong with anything you asked, so... Oh, everything is cool, relax guys, it's all good. Oh, you're talking about the Nyx stuff? Oh, yeah. I mean, I mean yeah, I mean, you haven't seen it for a while. It maybe it looked similar to you, especially with no colors or anything. But yeah, I mean, the 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 uh, Life Stealer is definitely, a, like, it, it definitely stands out as a whole new set. I mean, that's that's what we really try to do. It's really, really make our set stand out, uh, push them as far as, as possible from the set itself while still recognizable. And, you know, give them a new feel, almost like a new character on top of that. Uh, so that's the trick, but yeah, that's, that's what we tried to do, man. No worries, it's all good. Wasn't trying to give you a hard time either. Okay. Not elitist at all, man. No, no worries. Questions are okay here. Gonna make a weapon for Antimage looking like half a battle fury. I think somebody was doing that that was asking me for feedback already. So yeah, I don't think I wanna trump on the... Actually, I, I think they posted on, live, on the forums on Live Workshop. So yeah, I think uh, they, they, they can handle it. I don't think I'm gonna jump on that. Um, I'd probably make a full set if anything. Uh, I don't think I'll just make a weapon for the sky for uh, anti mage. Uh, I actually have a good idea for a set for him already, so maybe later in the year we'll get to him. Uh, what are my opinions on building items with tournaments and organizers? Is it sustainable? Join Dota did an article about it. Do you think items and tickets should be separated? Uh, MP3 Junkie, I actually commented on the on the comments on that article that you're talking about. Uh, so if you have scroll down and find Sith Happens on some of the pages, I think I'm on the first page or the last page. I don't know if it's backwards or forwards on, on, their, on their thing, but yeah, I actually commented on there. So uh, go have a read, man, and see what I think. Uh, it's, it's, uh, it's a couple paragraphs. I think it's like three or four paragraphs that I wrote. Uh, but yeah, I actually mentioned something that they missed on the, on the article as well. Feel free to link it on here for the people that are asking about it. Uh, so that they know what we're talking about. Um, I'm not gonna jump in there and find it for, for so if you could link it, that'd be awesome, man. Thank you. And I wor I've i worked with uh, with pro teams and with organizers. I'm working with an organizer right now, with Star Ladder. And uh, you really need to work with people, A, that are not gonna try and screw you over and trying to get 50%, you know, percentage, which is ridiculous. Uh, you need to set a, a you know a standard that is fair to you as an artist and not get completely extorted. Um, so uh, Starlighter guys are fair; they're really nice. I'm friends with Casper. I met him at TI3 and 4, and we hung out and we we developed the friendship, and that's why we're working together with the Starlighter and um, we're helping those guys out. Uh, you know, trying to uh, make a really nice events. So 
yeah, it's you. You gotta pick who you work with. I mean, there's there's assholes out there. There's a lot. There's a lot of assholes trying to take advantage of artists out there, unfortunately, right now. But you just gotta be careful and ask questions. And if you're not sure, ask other artists that have done that, maybe have been around for longer in the Dota community, and try to get their opinion on somebody that you might be working with. But yeah, I mean, working with organizers can be a really, really good thing. You just have to do it right. The Juggernaut said it looks slightly a big fat. Uh, yes, we actually went larger on the legs because we want, we really wanted to push the samurai feel to him. That gets lost because he's so little. As If you see him compared to other heroes, he's really, really little in the game. So we had to kind of exaggerate that a little bit. And it actually, if you see it in game, it, it, it works out really well, I think. Uh, nice Lancer set. Thanks, man. Yeah, our... Oh, there's MP3 Junkie just... Uh, just linked us to the Join Dota article if you guys want to read it and read my response towards the article and uh, some an another point that they, they missed. Uh, let's see. I think I'm on page one. And, uh, yeah, there it is. So see that you can see the Lab Workshop logo right there. Um, you guys can check that out. I actually... yeah. Actually, yeah, that Phantom Lancer set was for an organization. I mean, not a tournament organization. Actually, yeah, they do kind of do tournaments now with the GG Gaming, and they do their um, the D2L with our awesome, awesome caster, Mr. AC. Uh, but I I made uh, two sets so far for the Alliance. One is on hold, the Lundruid, and the other one was the Phantom Lancer for uh, Loda. Let's go one finger at a time. <laughs> Should probably be doing the top part too, but screw it. We'll do bottom and then we'll go to the top. We're in a roll. I, I kind of have to exaggerate this parts a little bit. Otherwise they're going to be too little to, uh, to be seen in game. We'll making a little bit cleaner as well. I know they're kind of janky, but that's okay. First pass. Second pass, I guess. Oh my god, he lost the finger. Okay. Maybe a weaver set? I have no ideas for a weaver set just yet. I haven't really thought about it, to be honest. But, um, yeah, I think he could use a, a set that really pulls him apart, maybe a little bit. Yeah, we uh, did uh, two sets for the Alliance so far. Navigator223, thanks for uh, dropping by, dude, and uh, we'll see you next time. Uh, maybe you follow, I don't know, I know we, we're missing a bunch of follows, but uh, thank you, man. Appreciate uh, your company. Hey, Hoverborn. Yes, uh, we did the, the Templar Assassin set. Myself, Enemy, and Mr. Abyss. Are we going to make the hands have a gold effect? Uh, coin effect on them. Yes, we actually already have it working in-game. Uh, the coins fall out of the, the Midas as Lifestealer is walking about. It looks incredible. <laughs> I, I thought that the heart was going to be way cooler. Uh, the Midas actually is now uh, a little bit cooler than the heart. I didn't think that was going to happen, but the coins just look incredible. I'm so happy how they came out. We'll show you that, we'll show you that next week, guys. We'll show you the coins next week. 
you have to make. Uh, you have to play the game to make good quality stuff for the game. Uh, it helps a lot, absolutely. I mean, uh, I well I, I, earlier in the stream or like hours ago, uh, we we're talking about the the studios that uh, we worked for and uh, or if I would work for another studios or what you know whatever and uh, or for workshop stuff. I think the question was I forget. But yeah, I mean, I basically worked for studios where I really enjoyed playing the game, and uh, I'm really picky about that stuff, so... Uh, Dota is definitely a game that I really enjoy playing a lot of, and I love making sets for it. But, you know, playing the game allows you to be more knowledgeable when you're thinking about either things like lore, or how there's, you know, if there's nemesis between some of the characters, so maybe you can sneak in a little bit of, like, history between them. If you have, like, a conca, you know, and, uh, you know, tied, you know, that whole rivalry that they have going on. Uh, if you're making maybe, like, a, a, a rivalry, you know, sets for those of that, is, you know, you can you can play off those things from each other if you really play the game and you know all those little details, as opposed to somebody that just makes artwork for it. You know, uh, placing history into the, the sets is something that I really enjoy doing and what a really good character artist should actually, you know, aspire to do and learn, you know, it really, it... it it makes them more, it grounds them more into their world and, you know, m makes uh, a deeper character than just uh, fancy armor, for example. Zeus, please. We can't make sets for Zeus, man. He's not available in the workshop. Can't do it. Can't do it. What the hell are you doing? Okay, we're good. Alright, oh, with the fingers. Alright, let's keep going. I like this kind of locket thing that we have going on here. I think part of it needs to be a little bit deeper though. You require more Vespium gas. Power there, buddy. What's up? Welcome to the late night. Waiting to, to, for somebody to make an assault curious on the Death Knight or on dying. <laughs> that would look pretty cool, Lord. That's a good one. MP3 Junkie, have a good night, dude. Thank you so much. We'll see you next time. Absolutely, I'll be at TI5. Absolutely. Uh, I'm actually, uh, we're, we're, we're thinking of throwing like, or having like a, a, a live workshop, you know, kind of like get together at a bar somewhere. But one of those nights, we'll just like post it on the forums, on the, our Facebook page on liveworkshop.com. Uh, you know, when it's closer to TI, obviously, and we'll have that bar night and have, you know, if you guys are at TI5 or you're local, you guys can come out, have a drink with us and just chill. Live Workshop, who is the hardest, you know, uh, you guys don't have to say at Live Workshop. If you type Sith or Manny, uh, I, I, you know, it turns red for me and I, I notice it anyways. Um, what is the hardest hero to make a set for? Lone Druid. Do I have any ideas for a Legion Commander set? Yes, I actually already started one. Want to see it? Yeah, Vanille, uh, that would be nice. Yasha on Juggernaut? I didn't put a Yasha on Juggernaut. Um, we did all unique stuff for our, our Juggernaut set. Am I thinking about an Alchemist set? No, no Alchemist set just yet. No ideas for him at the moment. Uh, yeah, we're making a Nake set for all the new people that just joined here. I'll show you guys the seabrush section of it. Turn him into a mummy. Here is the low poly that we started. Textures are uh, work in progress. We have a second style for the back. A little hard to trask. And here, let's uh, open up really quickly our Legion Commander set that uh, you guys actually will see uh, next week when we start working on it a little bit more. More uh, concentrating it a bit more. Uh, as well as a Death Prophet set. Uh, Show now! Show it now! <laughs> oh man, it's going, it's loading. Look at the bar go. Poor eye, let me move this out of the way. So, here we go, check it out. 
I'm gonna move this out of the way, this head. Whoops. Oh, it's mirrored. There we go. So this is just a low poly block out, of course. Uh, we're gonna throw into Seabrush and detail the shit out of it. Right, she's gonna have her huge cape uh, draping behind her, following across. She's gonna have a huge shield with a really nice uh, design on the front. Got her layered uh, helmet on. Little, little tail going on the back. She got her, her lance. And yeah, we're gonna make uh, custom animations for her. So she'll she'll be more in a defensive stand with her shield and her spear coming out the side. And we'll see how much time we have to do like other special stuff for her. But uh, this is the, the initial section for her that uh, we started. Blocked this out in about a night. Actually, it was really fast. So yeah, just grab this. Uh, poly shop the low poly, do the UVs for it, throw into Seabrush and uh, go to town. Go to town. Should be good. Should be good. Will Undying ever get a set? Undying is not available in the workshop. However... However... Let me show you something you're gonna be happy about, man. Uh, hold on, I gotta minimize my workstation here. So many programs opened! God! What's this? Oh yeah, so if uh, you guys didn't see uh, our presentation during the TI4 that we did live there, uh, we actually started uh, an undying set. So this is the head that I'm, I'm modeling over top of it. You can see basically the jaw, but we're adding teeth, a whole new top of the face on it, new eyes, new helmet, new horns, uh, hair. The hair is going to be floating, made out of effects as well. Uh, we also started the other items for the set, but uh, this is... Uh, this is our, our dirge set that uh, we started, even though he's not available in the workshop. I was uh, we had this idea and uh, we we had to go through it with it. So we won't work on it for until uh, we gets closer to being released, maybe. But um, maybe I'll ask Valve if I can like help them and maybe like split the, the model for them so that it comes out quicker and then we can uh, finish the set. But yeah, that's uh, there you go. A couple of previews of things to come later down the line for you guys. Getting late. It's getting late. We gotta, we gotta try and finish this or get as close as possible. We're almost there.